Hello, this is Susan Gerbic, and I'm going to show you some very simple editing on Wikipedia. Very, very simple. I've come to the Wikipedia page that I'm creating for Barry Carr. This is a work in progress. This is not a live page that you can type in the word Barry Carr and find on Wikipedia. This is how I uh, work on drafts, and I've been working on this page for about two or three years on and off, mostly off, but um, I have a lot of new information to add to it. I'm not going to do it at this moment, maybe in another upcoming video, but I want to show you some very simple edits. Sometimes people who are brand new to Wikipedia are very intimidated about making edits, and I can't blame them. It, it is very intimidating once you see this edit screen, but um, you're not going to blow anything up. We're going to be able to fix it if you mess it up. So let's just look at it really quick. Here's the page, and I found a couple things that are you know, need a little bit of work. Well, okay, the whole page needs rewriting because I've just kind of been throwing things here as I gather them. But I do want to show you, um, I found a comma mistake down here. See the comma right here? And you can see after graduation from New York State, comma, Paul Kurtz hired, hired car full time. So that's what it should say. So I'm going to remove this comma and put it over here after this. Now I put the little 19XX because I still haven't received, I still haven't, you know, found what year he graduated from college. And I will need a citation to something to prove what year he graduated from college. That's how Wikipedia works. Everything has to be cited. Another thing I'm going to change is this word Barry Carr here is in red. That means, as you see as I mouse over it, that it is a hyperlink that is not going to a page that exists. So I want to remove the brackets so that the word Barry Carr is just a normal black letter. So these are very simple things, not anything that is going to be earth shattering or anything like that. But you take these things in small steps. You're supposed to be building your edit history so that you have um, so other editors can see that you are trying to improve Wikipedia. So let's 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 do this real quick. I'm going to hit edit source. And I'm going to come down here and you see how there's this area that moves in and out of a window and there's this one over here that goes up and down a window. So I'm going to move this one down because we need to find that little area. See, now it is pretty intimidating, right? Don't don't panic on me now. You can do this. Just do editing with a clean, clear head. Don't try to do this where you're just going to go in and do it really fast. Take a moment and look at what you're doing. And like I said, you can't really mess it up. We can fix pretty much anything that you would do um, that should be fine. So let's look. It was the first sentence. See, oh, here it is right here in front of me. So this comma needs to come out. I'm just going to backspace. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put the comma where I wanted it, which was after the New York State comma in and then I left this now remember this is a page for me I'm creating this page in my own user space it is not something that's live so um, of course nobody would put up a Wikipedia page that said in 19 XX so I just have that there just as a reminder to myself as I'm making this page they are notes to myself the other thing we were going to we were going to remove was remember these little brackets on the word Barry Carr because it's coming up as a red link and there's no Barry Carr page to hyperlink to. So I'm going to remove those and all I have to do is backspace or remove these um, little brackets and they're gone. So now while I'm here, let's just look at this for a second. Kind of scary, like I said. There's an awful lot of writing here for something that you know is only like two sentences long on the real page. And you can see it's it's a sentence right here. After graduation from New York State, Paul Kurtz hired Carr full time as assistant public relations director. Um, I should have a citation right there. Carr has been involved in many investigations, including and then uh, faith healing. OK, so here is a reference. That's with this REF. And then this is the um, article. This is a article in a book. Paul Kurtz was the editor in 2001. The book's name was Skeptical Odyssey's Personal Accounts of the World's Leading Paranormal Inquirers. And I have these little um, things here. You put two in front of it and two on the other side, and that makes it italicized. Here's Prometheus Books, the pages that you'll find that reference, and the ISBN number. There is no, um, 
URL to link to. This is an actual book we're linking to. And to close the reference, this is right here. So I hope I haven't lost you yet, but don't panic. This is, this is what a citation looks like if you break it down. Here's the next sentence. Barry Carr awarded 25 years of service. Also toolbox faculty recognized as honorary. Here he put trenches and italics again. Winners. And then I probably should put a period after that. And then here's a citation that's going to a video. Here's the URL. Here's the name of the video. And here's the rest of the URL. And here's the day that that video was ac uh, we had accessed it when I put it in here, um, August 12th, 2012. And then here's the close reference. So we're going to go look at this again. I'm going to write fixed spaces spacing you know or whatever again this is a this is for me anyway so you have to write something in the edit summary um, I'm going to hit show preview because all good editors always hit show preview and then let's look and see what we have okay here we go we've got the comma in the right spot doesn't that look nice and the page just looks better visually and then the word Barry Carr the words Barry Carr right here that were read a few minutes ago are now in the black just like normal and if you look at it, you can see here's that citation, the first one I showed you, that goes to a book. And that backs up these two sentences. I know that because I did it. And then this one right here, this sentence here, this citation backs up this sentence. So you have to have citations for everything that you, you do. Okay, now we can see here's some errors down here that I need to go back and try to fix. But at the moment, we're just going to work on those two edits we have here. So now I'm going to save the page. And now it's saved. And I can, your edit was saved, it says. And you can see how those are a little bit improved. I've just improved it by adding a, uh, moving the comma to the correct place and getting rid of that red uh, berry car that was going to an empty page. Again, not earth shattering. Um, you're not changing the world's opinion about things by doing this. But you do need to start practicing your editing by going in and creating and doing small things like this. You can go to any Wikipedia page anywhere on Wikipedia. Anything has nothing to do with anything. And if you see a common uh, a spacing problem, a spelling problem, a period that should be a comma or whatever, now you know how to fix it. Okay, so you should have a Wikipedia account, sign in, go to the edit source and go and fix it. And as I said, Click preview to make sure that you've done it correctly and then also uh, then save it afterwards and be proud of yourself for even fixing just those small things because that makes the page a little bit more respectable to have the grammar correct. Okay, so thank you so much for bearing with me through this very uh, tedious uh, comma movement, but uh, we really do need to make sure that you're comfortable editing Wikipedia and sometimes the easiest way to do that is to just move a comma around. Okay, have a great day. Thanks.